Hello Gemini, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your April 2021 tarot reading. I'm gonna start with burning a little patchouli just to cleanse the air. Spirit guides, please come here and get our beautiful Gemini people towards their highest possible spiritual path, please. We thank you in advance for all the messages we get and we hope we receive them in the most clear way possible. Thank you. We'll start with the Golden Girls Tarot. Beautiful deck. Nice colors. Gemini, please. April 2021. What do we get for Gemini, April 2021? April 2021, Gemini. Thank you. Nine of Wands reversed. Justice. The Moon reversed. Two of Swords. Anything else? Anything else? The chariot fell right on the justice card. Interesting. And we've got the king of cups and the queen of cups. Okay. I think we're done shuffling and we're going to go right into your reading. Now, Gemini, we have the nine of wands reversed. Nine of Wands reversed, um, it's talking about somebody who is a little bit battle weary. So if you can still continue to battle on whatever you're working for or whatever you're fighting for, then take all of this feeling of hope and the rest of power that you still have and continue with the help of somebody else. This card is talking about please open yourself up for somebody who's reaching you a helping hand. And if you still have this, um, this feeling that you still have power to keep on going, then this is a card that's telling you you're on the right way. Please don't give up now. If you continue until the finish line, then you will have great rewards in the end. Then you have the Justice card. With the Justice card, there is a lot of justice coming into your life. So in case you have any legal matters going on, these legal matters are under a positive star, so they can um, be resolved for your benefit. Also, this can mean that the truth is coming to light. So whoever did something which was not right, let's say it was you or somebody else, can be anyone, but whoever did something wrong will probably regret it because the truth is coming to light with this card. It can no longer be hidden, okay? And this is valid for all of us, basically. Then we have the moon. But <laughs> unfortunately, it came out in the reverse um, and it came together with the two of swords. So two of swords and the moon reversed. Two of Swords says that you have a decision to make, but you can see that person is blindfolded, so you do not know all the facts. You feel as if you don't know the entire truth so that you can make the right decision. Now, this is also indicated with the moon in reverse because the moon is always talking about mysteries, about hidden things, things hidden in the subconscious of people, things that only present themselves in a dream or in, in a form of metaphor. Yeah, it's metaphorical speech. It's not something direct. The information is, is not coming in directly here. So there's something you cannot fathom or see yet. And this is what makes this decision so hard for you, Gemini. But trust in the timing of the universe because you have the ability to make the right decision here. Then you have the chariot. 
The chariot is a very good major arcana because it's talking about action. This is speeding up the entire process of your life. Maybe you will have the feeling, oh my God, everything is suddenly working so fast now. So this card is basically also a card of being on the open road. So there is a, a touch of freedom, you know, that kind of freedom that people feel when they are on their motorbike and they feel the wind in their hair and they, they have this feeling of, wow, this is, I'm, I'm on, on the route to somewhere new. And this is a card of, yes, go, this is your time, this is your practically your go sign, okay? This, the feeling that comes with this card is that you're standing at the start of a race and you've got your engine on and you can smell the fuel and you see the other competitors left and right and you can feel that you wanna go, go, go. And then finally this card comes in, boom! And this is the sign for you to just go. <laughs> and this is really, really fantastic. So in April, Obviously, you're doing things. This is a card of big action. You're done with waiting, you jump into action. Last but not least, you have the King and Queen of Cups. Now, what a wonderful couple that is. So this could either represent that there is a couple it could be you with your partner, but it could be somebody else. It could be like your parents or another form of couple. But this couple is very strong together because they are perfect with each other. They, you know, this is the couple that's married for 50 years, okay? And this couple is coming in to help. So um, this person here, the King of Cups, is a person who is a very nurturing leader, somebody who leads from the heart with his emotions, he's in touch with his emotions. So this person is very helpful. Maybe this is the person that is coming in to help you. Could be a person, a male person which is older than you. Or we've got this beautiful Queen of Cups. So the person coming in to help you could also be a lady. Yeah, uh, And this Queen of Cups, she could even have psychic abilities. So this Queen of Cups has a connection to her higher self and she can download information for you. So this person can be a psychic reader. It can be uh, somebody who does numerology, who does uh, reading the palms of your hand, somebody who, who is clairvoyant, clairaudient, somebody who can even see ghosts. Yeah, this person here is somebody who's often very psychic. If that person is not psychic, then it's often a, a woman which is very, she's an empath. She can really have this, this compassion and to lead and guide others from the soul. And she has a huge healing ability, okay? These people, they can be healers. They can be um, nurses, doctors. They can be holistic healers who work with alternative medicine. This could be a homeopathic um yeah, somebody who does homeopathic treatments or somebody who does acupuncture. So somebody is coming in to help and it could be a, a male or a female person. Gemini, I would like to take an extra card for you from this beautiful guardian angel tarot here. So let's see what's going to come out for you. Angels and spirit guides, would you please give us a card for Gemini for April 2021, please? Card for April 2021, Gemini. Wow, just slipped right out. Ooh, the six of wands looks like this in this particular deck. I will translate for you from German into English. The six of action. What a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a huge success and it will bring you rewards or any form of recognition for your efforts. Well done. In case that somebody can help you or that somebody is offering his or her support, be sure that this particular person was sent from above, was sent from heaven and please do accept that person's help. So the six of wands in the regular tarot would depict a person coming home with a victory. So this is a very, very lucky card for you, Gemini. Obviously, April is a very good month for you. 
Last but not least, I will take one card for you from the deck with the positive affirmations here. Gemini, positive affirmation for Gemini, please. Positive affirmation for Gemini, please. A positive affirmation for Gemini, please. April 2021, thank you. And we've got, I will not allow setbacks to halt my progress towards my goals. So obviously, the reason why you are so successful in this month is because you let nothing and nobody stop you. Now, I hope you liked the reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, you can comment below this video. And please remember, you are wonderful. You're a powerful manifester. Use that power for the good of yourself and, of course, also for others. I love you guys. Bye-bye.